Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a couple more of the fun faces done. I actually, these are the fun faces stamps that I got. Um, they're by Barb Owen, howtogetcreative.com. Um, it comes with four, and I shared these two previously, and these are the other two that I did. I did this one. She's like the grandma, and she has silver hair. It's just felt. Um, and I think it turned out so cute. I gave her a bun, <clears throat> put a little bit of pearl trim there, and a little, like, neck. I made her neck at a lace, a piece of lace, and a little, um, rosette. She turned out so cute. And I think these are going to be pins. These are actually on wooden spoons that my husband cut for me, but this is, this was in my stash. Now. It's like a flat back, actually, piece of wood. It's a, like a button, a wooden button. But it's pretty big it's like it's two inches two by two a little over and then this one is the last one and this one I bought it's it was at Joann's I think a piece of wood um, and it's just like about like it's about it's a quarter inch wide it's pretty big and she's just a hippie cuz Barb sent me these fibers um, and I was like well let me try the fibers so I there were three of them and I braided them together and then I just put glue on the edge of the um, the disc after I painted it, and I braided it. And then I kind of just stuck it down around to where her ears would be. Then I put little um, dangle earrings. She has little stars for earrings, and I gave her a. Um, there was just a piece of silver rickrack under there, but I decided to put. I wanted daisies, and I didn't have any daisies, but I liked the way these looked. They look cute. And I mean, I was thinking I could kind of shorten it or double up like this. I have a little more. Like, I think she would look actually look really cute with um, thicker hair. Like, I could put the um, leftover fibers on top. We'll see. But I kind of just gave her braids that hang down. So she's like my little hippie chick. A hippie chick. Um, so I did those. And then my cousin Fram was here. Um, for like five days, four or five days, and we've been crafting up a storm. And you might have seen those of you who uh, see my uh, Facebook page. I did post this on my Facebook, and I made another canvas, and I love it. I really like this. I'm gonna hold it up. Um, we kind of did it based on what Fran wanted to do. She had a color theme in mind: blue, green. And um, hers was going to be tans, but I made mine gray because I have the, the bedroom I just redid. It happens to be, and they're a little bit lighter blues and lighter greens, but it turned out the way I do it. And I mean, it's so funny. No matter what I try to do, it com my style is coming through now. So I'm so excited about that because, I mean, that's ultimately what I want to happen. I don't want to try and make it like anyone else's. I want it to become my own. So... I drew these little cats onto book pages, and these cats were actually from a design that I saw um, in a book, and so, but I drew them, and I drew the butterflies, and I just Mod podge them on, well I didn't actually, matte medium, and these are um, stamps by, I want to say Diane Reevely, it's one of the two, you know the ones I always, let me go, I'm going to get them real quick. They're right here. Um, Cause I know you guys, the delusions. Yay, Diane Reevely. And this is one of her very first sets. I've had this, how does your garden grow it's called. But these little birds were super cute. And the way I stamped them in the background is just so cute. I kept them kind of in the background. And then just some more, some of the flowers from that set. And I just kind of left them in the background, but I did paint them. The white that I used on the flower to highlight the flower is actually a white Winkostella pen. See how it says, I don't know if you can, it's going to focus, glitter white. And it's a triple zero, but it's actually not clear. So you can see there's like, um, it's a white um, glitter pen. So I think I thought I was using the clear, 
But then after I did it, I was kind of okay with it. I think it looked kind of cool. Um, but yeah, because I put it on the butterflies and it really covered up the butterfly color, which I didn't want to happen, but I tried to get it off and then I just went over it with the clear. But I love this. I just think they're adorable. I blinged her out. I put actually little rhinestones on her collar and a little heart charm. And then him, I just used the um, tulip, is it? Oh, scribbles. The gold scribbles um, 3D fabric paint to make little studs on his collar. And I think I'm going to do this. I'll do it in my um, art journal. Um, and I'll do a little uh, a walkthrough with you guys on this because it's just super cute. And I want to show you how I drew these cats because they're not hard. <clears throat> it's basically like a triangle for a body. And then you use those lines to create the cat. So it's really helpful. Um, and then the shape of the heads, like, it was cool because she definitely just looked more female to me. And he looked more male. So I am just super happy with it. And you know what the other thing was? Fran's looks nothing like this, actually. Fran did hers in this direction. And she just had one cat in the middle. And it completely looked different. She just did it her own way. Um, so it's cool. But I, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. It went out of my head. I have a dragonfly in the background. But I am doing what... Oh, I know what it was. She bought a frame. This is, I think, 11 by... Oh, it's all upside down. 11 by 14. And so she bought a can... I mean, a, a frame for it. And it really looks cool. These canvases look cool in a frame. Like, it really um, kind of dresses it up a lot. Um, but if I were going to frame it, I would make sure that I didn't put my my real details um, that close to the edge because it definitely um, covered the edge a little bit. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I also, just FYI, you guys, I did stamp out some of my, um, I haven't tried these yet. What are these called? These are those other face stamps, um, Peachy Keen, the Peachy Keen face stamps. So I just stamped out a couple of those that I wanted to try. Um, I have a couple smaller ones. But I want to see if those would look good on um, some, because I bought a different pack of these, and I think these would fit on here really well. Yeah, that, look how nice, oh, I'm not even in the shot. Look how nice that fits. That fits perfect. So I have to run to the store today to get some stuff, and I'm going to pick up this same set of um, spoons because the other set I got was like smaller and shaped different. So I'm going to do a couple more of these. And I think they're going to be pins, but, um, you know, and when I'm done, I'm done. Like all the stuff that, oh, and you know what I did? I added this little, this big pearl to the bottom of these. I just think it finished it off. Cool. I'm going to put this down and here's my old Odevern, her name is. Isn't she so sweet? All right, you guys, that's it. And I'm sorry I've missed Polymer Clay Tuesday for the last couple weeks. You know, stuff happens. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get back to it. I definitely have plans. I want to. I'm still planning on making um, a couple Christmas, more Christmas things. Um, I want to do a um, a light switch cover. So that'll probably be the next thing I do, the light switch cover. Um, I haven't done one of those before. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.